With yes, I am straight and I have no problem being at gay bars and it just doesn't bother me. Yay, I, I, I never you. understand. Thank you. I don't understand what the stigma on, is and all the problems. Do not are. Step it <laughs> but I will let you know if I drop my cell phone, I will be kicking it out the door. Uh -oh. There we go. I see him. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Hi. So, I like to spell the word love B A C O N. Bacon. Because bacon is love. And without love, you have war. And that's why the Middle East is not doing so well. <laughs> Just recently, I invented this new modern drink for the, for the go, the woman on the go. You, you're probably going to love this one. It's called a pina colada pin. It has some amazing stuff in it. Pineapple juice, maybe some rum, and a few sequence ingredients I've added myself. Thank you. I am not a native of Ohio, if you can tell by the accent. I am from Tennessee. My parents there owned a horse farm, in which I worked on for years as a child, and really enjoyed I me. Mean, working with animals is absolutely wonderful, especially with horses. And when I turned 16, I told my father, I want my very own horse for myself. You know, it's just a pride thing to have my own horse. Well, being that he also is a comedian, thought it would be funny to get me a miniature horse joke was on him, I got a hold of some growth hormones and made that mini horse a horse. I also have ADD. If you haven't noticed, I like to bounce everywhere. My jokes are off the wall and it's from my ADD. And I used to have problems in school though. My teachers would always tell me, you need to pay attention. And I said, I am, just not to you. I love advertising. I love looking at commercials just thinking how I can make them better, or if not better ones, my own. And I came up with one years ago, which I knew was wonderful because people told me that if I told it again, they would kick the shit out of me. A commercial pans in, I'm gonna paint this beautiful picture for you, so stay with me on this one, okay? Picture it, if you will, Jesus hanging on the cross. There he is in all his majesticness. And as the camera pans in closer, we suddenly hear a voice out of the dark that says, gonna be a while, grab a Snickers. <laughs> They say you can't get blood from a stone. I call horse larky on that one. I say you're not throwing it hard enough. <laughs> gravy. Let's talk a little bit about gravy. Gravy is very weird because there's gravy boats and there's gravy trains, but there's no arrow gravy. I just don't like that. Speaking of airplanes though, have you ever looked at an airplane flying overhead and thought to yourself, hey, that guy's at work. Other things I enjoy doing. When I like when I go to the bathroom, sometimes, just sometimes, I like to pretend that I'm in Star Wars. Star Wars, a great movie. And I like to pretend that I'm Luke Skywalker, just meeting Obi-Wan for the first time, training with my lightsaber. So when I step up to the toilet, I close my eyes, I have the blast shield down. I can't see anything with the blast shield down! But then I also like to pretend I'm Han Solo, and I must dump my cargo before I'm boarded. I do have a long story, and I mean, now that I'm actually a featured comedian, I do have time to tell it, but I don't want to get hung up on this one because it is such a long story, and it does take a long time to, to tell. But I will go ahead and end it with, I didn't know a bag of kittens couldn't swim. It was funny when I was there. Now that I've moved to Ohio, I've noticed you guys have a lot of Amish here, which I think is just absolutely the coolest thing in the world, because I love to mess with people without actually causing any physical harm to them. So I began to ponder this. How, oh how, can we mess with the Amish? And it came to me in just a flash of brilliance. We make their clothing fashionable by all of us wearing it. Really fuck with their religion. <laughs> Can we talk about some stereotypes tonight? This is the part where you say, yes, of course you can talk about stereotypes because we're, I already told you, I'm a straight man at a gay bar, so stereotypes don't mean a whole lot to me. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about stereotypes. Kenwood, Alpine. 
that, that's it. It's just I like stereos. <laughs> really though, you guys were thinking we were gonna go there with this one. Really? Now who's stereotyping? Just because I'm a comedian, we have to do something offensive. No, no, no. You stereotype to me now. That's not nice. Very creative though. Okay, okay. So we're gonna get to the bit that I've been really nervous on doing this one, but I, I want to go ahead and do it anyway. I was thinking of what could make stores, any store really, that much better. And it finally came to me in another flash of brilliance, which my flash of brilliance, by the way, is marijuana. And in my flash of brilliance, I decided that to make stores better, in the automatic checkout lines, we'd get rid of that computer voice and dub in celebrities. Because it would just be that much better. Can you imagine when you go to the store? You know, welcome to the laws. Get your hammers. Thank you for checking in, checking out laws and laws. <laughs> Woody Allen, though, if he was the checkout line at Costco. You know, I'm so glad that you came through and you didn't steal anything. You know, I mean, I'm just so... It's, it's, you could have and you walked out and it wouldn't have been a problem. But, but you came through and you paid. And you came to Costco, so you know, being a Jew, this, that's just cost effective. <laughs> Steve Irwin at Payless. Crikey, mate! You just got some crocs! Gorgeous crocs, gorgeous! 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 I am so bad at unplugging this thing. But I don't care. I don't care. Bill Clinton would be Walmart. I knew you'd be back. <laughs> I'm thinking about having children. My wife and I want to have children together. And I thought that if I did have a son, what would I name him? My first choice was Spock, but that got shut down quick. So my second choice was I would love to name my son Exit, because his name would be up in lights. That's a good start. Are you guys familiar with that song? It's an oldie song, but I, I love it. It's one of my favorites. Take a letter, Maria. Adjust it to my wife. You know what? I think that bitch had something to do with that breakup. I mean, for God's sake, she's willing to write the letter. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. You'll just fuck it up anyway. Do you guys remember the cartoon, Doug, when we were kids? Doug, of course you know Doug. And who was Doug supposed to wind up with later on in life? We know it was going to be his girlfriend, Patty Nanny, right? But can you see the wedding invitations now? You are cordially invited to the funny Nanny's wedding. Best man, Skeeter. <laughs> with all the things that I've done in my life, I've done a lot of messed up stuff. And people say to me, Remy, there's a special place in hell for you. And I say that's okay, because then I don't like waiting in lines anyway, so... I am Jewish, so I'm wondering, would it be messed up if I opened a tattoo parlor and called it Auschwitz Tattoos? It's okay, I had a grandfather there. <laughs> we specialize in arm tattoos. Just pick a number. <laughs> Thank you, I know. I don't try. I'm actually running out of material, so I'm, I'm thinking of what we can do just to go ahead. No one's really giving me a lot of feedback, and I love feedback from people. Sir, what is your name over here who's not paying attention to me on his phone? That's you. Yes, sir. You're Joshua. That's awesome, Joshua. How are you doing this evening? Wonderful. What do you do, Joshua? What day of the week is it? Um, Thursday? Is it Thursday? Yeah. Okay, wonderful Thursdays. So Thursday, what do you do? You're a yoga instructor. Okay, that doesn't work. I wrote a joke for a lawyer. Well, that's the wrong bar. Well, we're going <laughs> to... Is that across the street? <laughs> oh, very good. Of course, where lawyers go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this set. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Let's keep it going for the next comedians as well, and you guys have a wonderful evening. I am Remy. Please check out my YouTube at jgreenbaumay5.